Um, it is now my pleasure to, represent, to welcome Representative Randy Weber, who has represented Southeast Texas since 2008. Representative Weber is a member of the House Science Committee, where he serves as chairman of the Energy Subcommittee. Please join me in welcoming Representative Randy Weber. Thank you, Sarah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Good morning. Come on, y'all can do better than that. I mean, I mean, did the secretary say that Cheryl runs 10 miles a day? Man, I tell you what, I'm a member of Congress. You know, we get our exercise by jumping to conclusion and running people down. <laughs> so, and I guess that's one way to use, use up your energy. But thank you all for being here. My name is Randy Weber. I represent the 14th district of the great state of Texas. I know that's a little redundant, but uh, glad to be here this morning. For those of you who might not know where the 14th district is, it's the Gulf Coast, the, or what we would call the upper Gulf Coast, uh, going from that other foreign country, Louisiana, uh, down toward the Southwest. A lot of energy, lots of, uh, there's five ports in my district. I actually have more ports than any other member of Congress. Some have four, but uh, we have five in, in our great district. So it's a, it is a privilege to be here. As Ms. Cheryl said, I am a member of the Science, Space, and Technology Committee. Uh, Vice, I'm the chairman of the subcommittee on energy, uh, very, very important from our, for our district. And it is a pleasure to be here today to talk with you all about energy and innovation. Um, America's economic strength, and I would add national security, depends in some fashion on science, the scientists and innovators here today, across the country even, to promote growth and prosperity. And I wanna commend the innovators in this audience, that's you all, um, for the scientific expertise, for the dedication, and the creativity you bring to the next generation of challenges. Because your example, for one thing, will be not only to industry and to our country, but also to the next generation of scientists, those kids coming up uh, behind you. So it's very, very important what y'all do. Scientists at the Department of Energy and in the private sector have consistently collaborated to create the most reliable, affordable, and secure domestic energy portfolio in the world. Now folks, I often say, the things that make America great are the things that America makes. And how do we do that? We have the most reliable, dependable, affordable energy supply in the world. So what you do is very, very important not just to the economy, but as I said earlier, to the national security. Technological advancements in oil and gas extraction, and particularly hydraulic fracturing, were facilitated in part by the Department of Energy. These innovative technologies enabled the dramatic shale gas revolution that is transforming our economy and have helped to improve air quality and expand access to affordable electricity. So what you do is very, very important. Continuing our legacy of scientific research and development will take both public sector and private sector investment. The basic scientific research in our national labs often provides the foundation for groundbreaking applications in industry, it, applications that create jobs, that leads to new technologies that not only create jobs, but benefits Americans in their everyday daily lives. I would say that for the United States to remain a world leader, we must ensure that our investments in funding science are not just funding any kind of investment in science, but the best kind of science. Our resources are not unlimited. I, I know y'all are painfully aware of that. And hard choices are going to have to be made about what types of innovative research provides the best opportunity for the broadest impact on our great economy. While providing unlimited federal funding to launch every innovative idea sounds like it might be a pretty worthy goal, uh, it's simply not realistic. Uh, the President's budget proposal earlier this month provides some pretty lofty proposals for energy research and development. Uh, but I would add that 
you know, we kind of think that, that the proposal is simply disconnected from the reality of what we face, and that's an ongoing budget deficit and a, and a spiraling out of control national deficit, debt. As you well know, our national debt is $18 trillion and, and uh, American taxpayers are hurting. So if we as a country are gonna continue to spend taxpayers' hard-earned dollars to fund science and research, and I advocate that we do, then we need to spend wisely. We need to invest in the highest priority national research that is clearly in America's best national interest. I strongly support investing in basic scientific research that drives innovations in energy for reasons I've already stated. It's very, very important to our national security, not just the economy, but national security. But I also recognize that the responsibility of Congress is for us to be good stewards of American tax dollars and thus to make tough choices to provide direction to our research institutions. In order for us, Congress, to do our job and prioritize research that is truly in the national interest, we need to hear from you, those who are today the innovators. We need to hear from y'all. Scientific expertise will be crucial, crucial in developing and determining which innovative research ideas hold the maximal, maximum potential for changing the energy industry. And look, one thing I didn't say is I own an air conditioning company. I'm a small business guy, 34 years. And in the air conditioning company in Texas, you know, we understand energy requirements and the grid and power and all that's involved. So that scientific expertise that you bring to the table, as I said, is gonna be crucial in helping develop the best kinds of energy. We want the energy that not just changes potential for the energy industry, but has the broadest application across the entire United States economy. Because as I said earlier, for the United States to remain a world leader and for us to be safe, national security, we've got to have a solid energy industry. Folks, American scientists are the best in the world, bar none. I believe that they will continue, you all will continue to surpass our expectations in spite of our budgetary constraints. It's just what Americans do. Transparency, clear benchmarks for project success, lowering overhead costs, and maximizing partnerships with the private sector are going to be key elements to achieving the greatest opportunity and impact from our federally funded research. I know y'all are up to the task. ARPA-E employs many of these techniques to prioritize projects and, and maximize the impact of groundbreaking research today. Congress has a responsibility that in to ensure, as I said, the taxpayer dollars are spent wisely and focused on national priorities. This is gonna to require tough decisions. This is starting with eliminating the funding of wasteful projects in order to open the door to the next great scientific discovery. By prioritizing research in the national interest, the Department of Energy can build on its legacy and continue to help strengthen American energy and the economy and secure, continue to secure our place of world leadership. I trust that your presence here today means that you share in those same goals and values. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that.